Now you didn't know this, but everything that we've done in the fan showdown has led to this moment. For the first time, at least to my knowledge, you have a chance to design an actual consumer product that we can all buy one day. Whoa. I have partnered with Asa Tech to help them come up with a new pump cap design for their brand new all-in-one liquid cooler. And by I, I mean you, because I won't be the one designing it, you will. And then I mentioned there's prizes. <laughs> did your head just explode? Because mine did when Asa Tech pitched this idea to me. And I can't think of a better community than all of you out there to take on a challenge like this. All right, this is how it's gonna work. You don't have to subscribe to the channel or like the video or any of that nonsense. I mean, you can, I won't be mad, but this competition is for you, not me. I mean, I guess if anything, if you like this new way of doing product design, um, share this video with somebody else you might think likes this idea and wants to get involved. Uh, the reason being, the, the more popular this whole little experiment gets, the better chance we have to do something like this again. Who knows what, you'll, what we'll be designing next. Okay, back to how this works. Your goal is to create an AIO pump cap and the process is kind of set up as similar to the fan showdown as possible. Asa Tech has given me a 3D model of a plain pump cap that I will be uploading to my Thingiverse to be used as a reference. In addition, I've also created a little 2D drawing of this cap so that if you don't know how to 3D model, you can still draw your design up to spec and enter it in the competition. That's right. You don't have to 3D model your design to enter it in the competition. I mean, you can, but not everybody has access to 3D modeling software. And because of that, designs for your cap can be submitted in almost any format. You can 3D model your design just like you do for the Fan Showdown. I would recommend though, if you're gonna do that, gonna spend the time 3D modeling your design, send it in in a format that almost any CAD system can open. My go-to is a .stp or a step file. Um, .igs is another good format that works. You just wanna send it in in a format that regardless of what software they're using, they'll more than likely be able to open it. You could even submit your model as a hand-drawn design. <laughs> I mean, say you have a great design in your head, but you don't know how to 3D model, draw it out the best you can. Use the dimensions that I'll put in the 2D drawing to kind of scale everything correctly. Take a picture or scan it and send it off to Ace Tech and let their engineers do the rest. And pretty much anywhere in between. I mean, go buy a cooler like the one I have here. Take the cap off, DIY mod it, and take a picture of it and send that in. Any way you can think of to communicate your design to Ace Tech will pretty much work. Just make sure you try to make things as clear as possible. Now, as for the designs, just like the fan showdown, there are some critical dimensions that need to be maintained. You'll see those on the drawings that I have uploaded to my Thingiverse. But basically you need to make sure that you maintain those dimensions so that things like the tubing, the cables, and all the mechanical bits underneath the uh, cap still work when it gets to the final version of the cooler. For the inside of the pump, make sure not to decrease its size. It's basically the minimum size required to fit over all the mechanical bits we talked about. Um, the water cooling lines coming out, there's two cutouts for those. Make sure that those are maintained. Same for the power cable, there's a cutout for that. Make sure you maintain that as well. In addition, this brand new cooler that Ace Tech is developing will have no RGB and no LCD screens. So your design should not have RGB or LCDs present. So as for this competition, when exactly does it start? Starts today. May 6, 2022, the competition has begun and the submission window will stay open for about two months and you should send your designs to capchallenge at asatech.com. After the submission window closes, Asatech will take about 10 days to review you know, all the submissions that they received. After the review process is complete, Asatech will be publishing a poll showing all the designs that have made it to this step in the competition and then you can go and vote on which design you think should be made into an actual product. So that being said, um, subscribe or at least stop back by the channel because I'll be making a video when the poll goes live so I can kind of take a look at all the designs that made it and then cast my vote for which one I think is the best. Prizes, this is a good part. For everyone whose design makes it to the community poll, you will receive one of these brand new all-in-one liquid coolers when they launch and you'll get a gift bag from Asatech. For the one whose design is selected the winner, your day's about to go from zero to 100 real quick because you win the grand prize an AMD Ryzen 5800X3D, an AMD Radeon 6000 series GPU, a one-year subscription to Autodesk Fusion 360, a Wacom Cintiq 16 graphics drawing tablet, sounds pretty awesome, and of course, a brand new liquid cooler sporting your design. Freaking awesome. And don't forget, this isn't like a, a Halo one-off product. This is gonna be something we all can buy, and I know I'm gonna pick one up as soon as they launch, and do a build with it because this is one of the coolest things ever. 
Now, if your mind is a blur with all that information I just piled onto you, uh, I'm gonna leave all that information in the description below with links to the drawings and the models that you can download as references um, and where you should go to send your designs. And if you're more of a visual learner, I have a cooler that Ace of Tech has sent me and I'm gonna do what I do best and take it apart immediately. And we're gonna look at the cap. I made a little design I think is cool. Now I won't be submitting it to the competition obviously, but I printed it out, we're gonna, we're gonna see how it looks. So the design that I thought would be kind of cool for a pump cap, so I got the basic pump cap that Ace Tech provided. You can see the cutouts for the tubing and the power cable. I was thinking ferrofluid. I don't know why, but I've been watching a lot of Big Bang, I guess, lately. So that's what I wanted to make this kind of look like. So simply just modded the cap here to have a little bulge on top as it's being like pulled or following the magnetic flux lines. You had to draw the, the cones that point to where the magnetic flux lines are coming out. So you just drew one, that's the one in the center. Put a little fillet on top so it's nice and rounded. Draw another one, and then it's just circular patterns. Circular patterns, repeat, rinse, repeat until, boom, I got this goofy looking thing. I think it looks cool, kind of like a, a little hedgehog. Now these little clips here, uh, I'll try to print them out, but I can really see those breaking off almost immediately. But let's, let's print it, see how long it takes, print it out and see what exactly it looks like. Okay, this is an Ace Tech. 645 LT, it's a small form factor AIO. But we're more interested in this little pump over here that I haven't even took the plastic off yet. Oh, I thought it was gonna be one piece. Now from looking at the model, easy to assume that we can just pull this off. It had clips on it. There was screw holes, but I don't know if those are used. I already wiped off the thermal paste and I don't see any screws on the bottom here. So we'll see if it just pops off. As for the factory cap, you can see the cutouts for the water cooling lines. You can see the cable slot, it's actually in a different spot than the model they gave us, but this is probably a different pump. But I think the one that we got is similar size, should fit. But you can see that you need to maintain all that space underneath the cap to make sure you clear all the hardware that's gonna be packed underneath there. And then also just keep in mind of where the tubes are gonna be when this thing's mounted in your CPU. Remember you got screws here too for your CPU mounting situation and this cable too. So you, when you're doing your design, just be conscious of all the other things around it so you don't create any interferences. Now let's see if mine fits. You can see the clips, the clips didn't make it, but I, I think we can get it to stay on there enough for now. I use some fancy metallic or glitter blue PLA. I thought it looked really kind of cool. I can see it fits pretty good. Maybe I should have done like a black glitter look, but it may, if it was mounted on your CPU, it would make it look like it's putting out some giant magnetic force. So thank you guys all for watching this video. I hope that you're as excited for this little competition as I am. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with and what is um, selected by the community as number one. I really can't wait to purchase one of these coolers and use it in a build. Thank you again for watching. Get subscribed to the channel. Can't wait to see you next time.